This is a story about mutual prosperity of Kaohsiung city and port. 400 years ago, Kaohsiung port was just a small fishing village. Here are some old pictures of the fishing village. In 1684, it was developed into a domestic commercial port. And here are some old pictures too. Since 1863, it has been transformed into a port for international trade. Cargoes were carried by ox carts at that time. The major exporting items were banana, sugar cane, tea, and camphor. These are old day steam ships. These pictures show you the hustle and bustle of Kaohsiung port at that time. This is the high street, Yamashita Cho, of Kaohsiung city around 1900. This is Ginza, which means the most prosperous area of the city in Japanese. In 1999, Kaohsiung was ranked as the third biggest container port in the world. Container throughput was about 7 million tubes. How does a port prosper a city? According to a research, Kaohsiung port contributes 15% of total GDP of Kaohsiung city directly every year. In terms of direct and indirect contribution, the percentage reaches about 90%. Furthermore, Kaohsiung port creates 80,000 direct employment opportunities and if the indirect employments are counted in, the number is estimated to reach 640,000. So, as a counterpart, how does the city support the port? This is the layout of Kaohsiung port. We have a heavy industrial zone, China Steel, China Shipbuilding, and Chinese Petroleum Corporation, CPC set up their bases here, a Kaohsiung port is just nearby and the location is convenient for shipping. This area plays an important role of boosting economic growth in Kaohsiung. As everyone knows, Kaohsiung is a global transshipment hub, and more than half of entire Taiwan's cargoes are imported and exported via Kaohsiung port. Our handling capacity as well as the throughput of Kaohsiung port is almost 10 million tubes. Export processing zone is located at the central terminal of Kaohsiung port. Contributed by the industries in it, the volume of cargo handled in Kaohsiung port keeps steady growth in less decades. The export processing zone also stimulates and upgrades Taiwan economy into a sophisticated value-added one. We, Taiwan International Port Corporation, TIPC, are now working closely with Kaohsiung City Government on the future urban development. And we look forward to collaborate for all common prosperity of both parties. There are four zones in Kaohsiung Port. For TIPC, we take our actions to adjust our port functions for Kaohsiung urban development. For Zone 1, it's the old port area, as it is right adjacent to Kaohsiung City and will cause impact on residents' life. We decided to move domestic and near sea shipping lines from Zone 1 to Zone 2, then transforming this historical area into a friendly recreational park. For Zone 2, a small cargo carries ore and coal which might pollute the environment. We will move the bulk cargoes to coal at Zone 4. Besides, there are 199 petrochemical storage tanks in this area. Considering about residents' safety and health, we will move petrochemical shipping lines and storage tanks to Zone 4 too. 
the function of zone 3 will remain the same. Now let's look at the future plans for each zone. Zone 4 is the future land. We plan to regenerate the domestic petrochemical industry and develop steel and metal sectors in this area. We also plan to construct five new works. They will be 2,450 meters in total length and 80 meters in maintained depth. New works are able to accommodate 18,002 class super container ships. Zone 3 is Port Industrial Zone. The industrial clusters include China Steel, Shipbuilding Industries and the Taiwan Power Company. This area plays an important role of supporting growth of Taiwan's economy. Zone 2 is Free Trade Zone, FTZ, which is promoted aggressively by our government now. TIPC is assimilating factory to sales and sea and air transportation flexibility into the concept of customs free. We are now building new opportunities for sales, logistics, and production work together to reduce multinational firms' costs and enhance competitiveness. According to a statistics, by 2012, there are 28 companies in FTZ. The trading values reached about 1 billion US dollars. And cargo volumes was about 6 million tons. Compared with the same period in 2011, our numbers increased about 40%. TIPC will provide an ideal environment for businesses in the intelligent logistics, value-added agriculture, international medical services, and the industry collaboration sectors. It is estimated to create 10,000 employment opportunities in Kaohsiung. TIPC and Kaohsiung City Government are now working together to create more values for Kaohsiung. Last but not least, Zone 1. It is Pearl Marina, or Shui An Mingzhu in Chinese. This area originally is rife with histories and stories, but now transforming into a complex one with a harbor view and a recreational park on the waterfront to enjoy and explore. Asian New Bay Area, which the Kaohsiung City Government is promoting now, is adjacent to Zone 1, and our new cruise passenger terminal will be set up here too. We target to attract more domestic and international travelers and cruise passengers to visit Kaohsiung to boost the local economy. Here are some illustrations for Asian New Bay Area. First, Kaohsiung Exhibition and Convention Center. This is Kaohsiung Municipal Public Library. Kaohsiung Maritime Culture and Popular Music Center. Kaohsiung Waterfront Light Rail Transit This is our new Kaohsiung Passenger Terminal. This 14-story building will contain passenger terminals, shopping malls, and the TIPC's new offices, and it is estimated to finish by 2017. The full view of Pearl Marina collaboration platform of Kaohsiung City Government and Kaohsiung Port has been set up, and our cooperation is still continuing. For example, we will transform all Taiwan ports into green ports to provide an eco-friendly environment for residents by reducing pollution and setting up green passenger terminals. Here are some paintings drawn by children last year in Green Port Festival at Kaohsiung. We hope Taiwan ports will become everyone's dreaming ports, just like the paintings. Furthermore, the famous rubber duck will be visiting Kaohsiung port from 19th September to 20th October in 2013. Without any doubt, 
the rubber duck will boost the local tourism. Another example is the Pier 2 Art Center located in Zone 1. Kaohsiung city government have made the Pier 2 as a place where tourists and the locals can come together to enjoy fine art. TIPC and Kaohsiung city government will keep pursuing mutual prosperity, innovation and total solutions together. So, please do visit Kaohsiung again to see what's new in town.